I want to open Drunken Sailor mm -hmm. because this looks fun. Okay. So it's a drawing game, and if you guys watched our uh, Telestrations live stream, which was on the back of our Love Letter live stream, you will know I'm not very good at drawing. So drawing games with Abby are hilarious because I'm awful at them. Um, but if you didn't catch that, you can catch up on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash um, You can check that out. But this is a drawing game uh, in which you play sailors that are trying to remember what they did last night, but they were too drunk to remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> you play a drunken sailor. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Uh, can we just shout out the box as well? Yes. Because this is. It's great. Beautiful. Like, I love wooden boxes. They're so classy. It's, it's I mean, timeless, isn't it's it? It's very timeless and classy for a game called Drunken Sailor. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks super cute. Uh, you can see on the back that there are some people drawing. So let's open it up and see what it's got inside. There we go. So while I'm opening it, on the back it says age 16 plus. So I guess maybe has some mature content Ooh, in it. Oh, OK. Well, I am very, very excited. Uh, it's also three to eight players. So hmm. oh, and 20 minutes long. So it sounds like it's going to be party game. OK, so here we go. We're going to unbox Drunken Sailor. Ooh. Now, first thing. We already mentioned we love the wooden box. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the way that that box Ooh. opens. Can we, can we can get we just, a close in on that sliding action? Close up on this. Ooh. 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 <laughs> this is really, really nice. Um, cool. It reminds me of um, a lot of classic games. Mm. You know, you get those big compilations of like 20 board games in one yes. tin. It's like that kind of thing. Yeah, there is as well. Um, there's a game called Arboretum that brought mm. out like a anniversary edition that mm. is in a beautiful box like this. And it's mm. honestly, the, the box is my favorite, but this might be this a is, new favorite. This is the standard. This yeah. is just the standard edition. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, so you do the slidey slidey. Okay. Ooh. Oh, hold up. There's a magnet on the box as well to keep it in place. Hold up. Hold up. Let's put this back in. This box is getting so much airtime. I'm, I'm not, uh, this box is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely excited about it, which is why we're talking about it. Right, so I'm guessing, I'm going to be really embarrassed if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing because there's oh. a magnet here. If I turn this upside down, oh, it's not going to slide out. How impressive is Ooh. that? Hey, well, it will you <laughs> I mean, <laughs> don't test the magnet, but <laughs> that's really cool. It's cool. Okay, so magnet inside the lid. Love that. Okay, we'll actually open it for real now. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we've got rules. Oh, these are pretty, pretty, pretty game. Rules. Two pager, love that. It's got a nice matte finish. Oh, I lied. It? Four pager. <laughs> oh, two, two A four. I mean, it's fine. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it says rules of the sea. Uh, so I'm going to read you the overview. Drunken sailor is a game of deceit, clever drawing, and storytelling. Each player is a sailor, but only one is the drunken sailor. Can you figure it out? Uh, sailors collectively draw an object that recounts a rowdy adventure you all shared, but there is a sailor among you that cannot recall the adventure and doesn't know what is being drawn. This sounds like so much fun! <laughs> that is the drunken sailor. So the drunken sailor wants to keep their identity hidden from other sailors and try to piece together what everyone is drawing. Sailors win if they can figure out who the drunken sailor is. The drunken sailor wins if they can go undetected or figure out what is being drawn. Oh, that's so cute. I love this. Oh, it comes with crayons. This is great. <laughs> this is such a cute this, game. This reminds me, there's a little, tiny little game by Oink Games called um, A Drunk, A Fake Artist in New York. It reminds me of that kind of stuff. Yes. But this. Look the, at the, the inside. The this art. This is great. It's very minimalist art. It's like ink, ink, ink work, ink art. Oh. Yeah. So if I hold it, do you want to run through what we've got? Yeah. Okay. So there's all these little uh, envelopes, which I assume are for handing out the, the the thing that you are drawing, so that it's a secret. I'm gonna open them. Yeah. You've got, so you've got little lighthouses on the outside of the envelopes. Oh yes, and on the back there's a little anchor as well. So lighthouse on the front, anchor on the back. Sounds, it sounds, it sounds like, like it feels like that house on the here. front, anchor in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like that should be a thing, but I don't know. Okay. So I don't know what these are, but I assume these are the things that you have to draw. These are very specific. I don't think we can draw this. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know how this game works, so I'm going <laughs> to put these back. But this, this card says, look out, iceberg, the captain bellowed, a rum-tinged puff of breath hanging in the air like a stinky cloud. Oh, it's like a me, me on a Friday night. <laughs> well, if you're drunk and you don't remember, breath. you know, that could be a very scary thing. Yeah. You know? We have the crayons 
right here. You're right there. <laughs> the She's captain, seen something. The captain had to throw all of his weight into the wheel to avoid the iceberg. What a titanic effort, he said. Oh, oh, he's, he's great. <laughs> so many puns. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, Kylie Crowns. Oh. Uh, they're Ooh. nice. And they're branded with the, with the artwork as they well. They are indeed. Same artwork that's on the box. Cute. We've got a little bulldog clip mm -hmm. there. And, ooh, it's oh, all sorry, falling over. Oh, sorry, I made a mess. A uh, little bulldog clip. And then the final thing is, I th is this more envelopes? Yes, but they're different. So I'll open these. Yeah. Um, you open those. I'm going to have a quick have read a of quick the quick gander. You're getting lots of rustling right now, guys. <laughs> Here we go. So we've got a ton, a ton of envelopes. You can see they actually break off into two. So these just have more of these cards in as well. So Abby's going to give it a read and let us know what the deal is with them. Okay, so. so the group chooses a random envelope to play for the round and draws from it a number of story cards equal to the number of players. So... Can we play two? Three. No, All right, three. so we'll do three. We'll pretend that we have three. You guys at home, you're playing two. Yep. I do not look at the cards. <laughs> I, no, I 100% have not looked at them. <laughs> it says that in capital letters. I'm sorry, I just read it too late. Uh, yep, no, it's fine. <laughs> uh, draw one drunken sailor card from the drunken sailor envelope, which I think that this you one? had there. There was one in there that said drunken sailor. Oh. There you go. Oh, yep, I'm getting yeah. there. Yep. Draw okay. one drunken sailor card from the drunken sailor envelope and shuffle it in with the story cards. Okay. Now the drunken sailor card and story cards should be equal to the number of players. So when we took the cards from the first envelope, mm. we should have taken two because okay. it's the amount of players minus one. So cool. if we're well, playing with we're three, sorted. it was two. We've mm. sorted it out now. It. Um, so there are a number of cards equal to the number of players. Um, give each player one card face down. Each player may look at their card. Secret. This card is a secret and not shared with other players. This card tells people or players if they are the sailor or if they are the drunken sailor. The last player who was at sea starts the game. Oh, when was the last time you were at sea? Was I at sea? Was it sea like a year ago? I don't think I remember if I've ever been at sea. On a ferry? Oh yeah, on a ferry. Yeah, I'll that's go, what I'll, I'm counting. We'll go with you. Yeah, we'll go okay. with you. Okay, um, so. What do I do? Uh, the starting player draws part of the secret word. Oh, where's the secret word? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. It's I, a, I think it's the underlined one on your card. Oh, I see it. Okay. So the starting player draws part of the secret word on the paper without letting others see what is drawn. A player is only allowed to draw a single continuous line and may not lift the crayon from the paper once they've started. As soon as the player lifts the crayon, it is the next player's turn. So we are collectively, we're collectively drawing a picture it's mm. like you know and it's not the same but you know when you used to fold up pieces of paper and mm. like someone would draw the legs and then someone would draw the torso and mm. then you'd have like a funny frankenstein looking person like yeah no, it's like that yeah. <laughs> um cool so then we continue around everyone draws only the active player draws and it's a single continuous line mm -hmm. after everyone has made two contributions to the drawing it is revealed to everyone and this is why you have different colored crayons because you need to know who drew what. Mm. So, players now have a maximum of one minute for final accusations and analysis of the drawing to determine who the drunken sailor is um, or for the drunken sailor to figure out the word. It is allowed and encouraged to tease, make fun of, and question everybody's contribution to try out the drunken sailor, to draw, try and draw out the word. Uh, when accusations are over, players count to three, standard accusation game stuff, one, two, three. Boom. Point, I think you're the drunken sailor. What I do appreciate is that there is a picture of this, that one, two, three point, and one of the people has a little hook, like a pirate. <laughs> details. <laughs> it's the details it's the that things, we like. It's the little things. <laughs> uh, so you can score if you want to, but I assume it's like one of those games where you can just play it round by round and it's funny. Um, or if you want to keep score, you can keep yeah. score. So you can either play for funsies or scoresies. So K Cool says this might be tough to play two person. Uh, yes, yeah. it would be. Yeah. We were going to play with you guys at home, but I've just realised that you guys at home can't draw. Don't have any hands. I mean, you probably can draw, um, but you physically cannot draw with us right now. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, sorts. <laughs> um, so yeah, winning the game. True sailors never look back, and they always rip the drawing paper into as many pieces as points scored during the round. Players ah. get the same number of pieces as the points they scored in the round. That's clever. I like oh, that for scoring. Cute. Yeah. It's the, so th this this does remind me of another game that I. It's one of my favourite games of all time, which is, yeah, a, a Fake Artist in New York. Oh, yes. Um, really, really great. I've never played a game of it that is just not hilarious. Um, the rules in this are a little bit different to that one, mm -hmm. um, but if, 
if it's anything similar, I will just be crying with laughter yep. in like 30 seconds. And let's just look. Uh, did you already show the people at home the inside of the box here? Oh, I think so. There we go. Yeah, let's have a look. So beautiful. Mm. That is pretty. I love that. I love that style of drawing. I think we're probably going to play that in a bit. Should we play it while we have some lunch? In, in a yeah, minute? that sounds fun. Okay.